you've been in the industry, uh, the fitness industry forever. Uh, I think you have like over 50, 50 years or something like that. Like, oh. yeah, I started as a professional about, I guess, 1971, 72, and uh, started working in a part, part time in a gym. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was an undergrad at Westchester, majoring in uh, health and physical education, and uh, started working in a, a, a gym part time just to help make ends meet, pay off those student loans and all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but what what's even more interesting about you, right, is that well, you're you're a martial artist, and you you wrestle, right? Uh, Division one, if I'm not mistaken. Division one. Mm-hmm. Started wrestling in uh, seventh grade in Carlisle High School, and uh, went through you know junior high, intermediate high school, and then uh, wrestled four years um, at Westchester, and which was a Division one school. So, you know, we had a pretty tough schedule. We, we wrestled some of the best, uh, at, you know, in, in our area and uh, loved it. Loved wrestling. Yeah, but, yeah. I, you know, what do you do with wrestling when you graduate from university, you know? MMA. <laughs> uh, well, in those days, MMA didn't exist, you know? Exactly, exactly. Like, no you, were, you were one of the first, uh, uh, one, of, one of the uh, first investors of the first UFC, right? That's correct. Yeah. I, but I was floundering around. I was looking for something to put all that energy into that I had formerly put into wrestling. I coached wrestling at the high school level, you know, for a couple of years. And, um, you know, but I was looking. I, I, I did some freestyle tournaments and things. But in those days, it was almost impossible to, to really wrestle with any seriousness. Mm-hmm. Uh, unless you were going for the Olympics and then you needed a sponsor. And I, I wasn't quite that elite to be an Olympian, you know. I was good, really good, but not elite. And uh, plus, I was married early, had a kid. So, you know, I had the realities of making a living. So in those days, it was a lot tougher than it is now, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, so I was just looking for something to put my energy into. And yeah, uh, you found BJJ and, and you were uh, like... Yeah, and you, you you hooked up with the Gracies back in the days when the Gracies weren't even the Gracies yet. You know, they weren't as uh, well known, eh? No, no one ever heard of them. You know, if you said Gracie Jiu Jitsu, they say what? You mean Japanese Jiu Jitsu? Or if you said Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, they'd say, well, y- you mean Japanese, right? Isn't Jiu Jitsu Japanese? And trying to explain Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and you know, even a final point. Gracie Jiu Jitsu was impossible. Mm-hmm. Okay. People just didn't get it. But, uh, you know, they were pretty far away from where I was in Philly. So I had to travel back and forth. In the meantime, I had opened up my own gym in 1990. After working at many different gyms all over the country, I finally opened my own. And at, at the same time, I, I um, started just like a, like a club. You know, I wasn't really qualified to teach. But, you know, I did have wrestling and I had, I knew how to organize a practice. I coached wrestling. So, you know, I knew how to coach. And, you know, it was just a bunch of guys just rolling around in the back of my gym. Mm-hmm. But then that started to expand. I started bringing the Gracie's to the East Coast. And then I would fly out there and stay for a week, two weeks, and train, come back, practice the stuff, go back out again. So because I worked for myself, I was able to set up my own schedule. Hey, did, and, you, uh, did you did you learn at the same time as Chuck Chuck Norris? Because Chuck Norris hooked up with the Machado brothers, right? And and that was learning just, from them just before me, just before me, just a little bit before you. Okay, so yeah, yeah, like a year or so, you know, when all that happened. And then a friend of mine, Richard, Richard Bressler, he just wrote a book worth defending. Maybe you've seen it. Uh, he 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 was with Horian from the very beginning. So when I started going to the Gracie Academy. In 90, 91, mm-hmm. they had just opened. And uh, Richard was there. And a lot of real notable people were, were going through that program at that time. John McCarthy, the big rep from the UFC, was in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe you heard of Paul Vunak, who was a uh, pretty famous martial artist. I think he was doing Jeet Kune Do. And, you know, there was, it was like a who's who of people going through the school, you know? Oleg Taktara for fought in the UFC. Uh, Sambo guy, he used to stop in all the time. So it was really interesting place to be in a really interesting era, you know. 